scary and amazing rescue effort brings a family dog back home to his owners. The Bull Terrier Boxer mix ran away. Utility workers later found the pooch in a reservoir along the Missouri River near 680. Get this, it typically contains 14 million gallons of water. Reporter Nick Starling explains how they got him out and has the reunion. Nick. It's every dog owner's fear. You take them out, the next thing you know, they're nowhere to be found. Well, that happened to Bridget Hinesley with her dog Cash, and she's thankful, counting her blessings tonight, that he's in her arms tonight, safe and sound. Sit. Good boy. Bridget Hinesley and her dog Cash are inseparable. He's amazing. We just love him. But on Monday, when Hinesley's oldest daughter let Cash out, she says Cash crawled in a hole underneath the fence. And he took off down the street. Which is not uncommon for Cash when he gets out. He goes a few blocks, comes right back. But this time he didn't come back. I think one of my biggest fears was either somebody would have taken him for um, not good reasons. They searched for him to about 9 o'clock in the evening and couldn't find him. Hinesley's house is next to this water treatment plant. There they saw the Humane Society, MUD, Fire Department, and police. And this is the basin where they found a cache. It's filling up with water right now, but when they found the dog, it was completely empty with a lot of mud. The fact that it was curved and it caused him to slide rather than hit hard might have saved his life and certainly probably saved him from being injured. Uh, more than he was. He's one lucky dog. Because it was so dark and dangerous out, MUD crews waited over 13 hours until daylight Tuesday morning to lift cash out. This is video of the rescue effort. MUD lifting cash up out of this basin using a strap and rope system to bring him back on the grass. As soon as he got up on the grass, tail started wagging. Love the attention he was getting. Attention, something Hinesley will give cash a little more now. It's a miracle to me that he's still here and not hurt. So we hope this is the end of his adventures. Now get that, now get this, in that whole adventure, Cash only had some minor scrapes in that whole ordeal, and that no, mostly white dog was brown when they were getting him out, and Hinesley tells me the first thing they did when they got into the house was give him a bath because he smelled pretty bad. Reporting live at the Nebraska Humane Society, Nick Starling, KMTV Action 3 News. And but you could say